Okay, right, so what we're going to look at now is how we can improve the shoulder blade positioning. Now, the good news is it doesn't matter if you've got a hitch, a drop, a tilt, or a wing, shoulder, getting your shoulder blade in the right position is going to be at the same effect, and it's going to start to work all the muscles and will start to help correct the position. So it's a really good place to begin your retraining. So Emma's just in a more relaxed position here. So what I get people to do, and you can do this at home in front of the mirror, as you get better at it, you'll be able to do it without the mirror and then get into the habit of when you're walking down the street, try and be in this position. So I just want you to lift your uh, shoulders up nice and high all the way and then all the way down. And then again, up and all the way down again. And just try and find somewhere in the middle of those two ranges as you go through. So just go up and down, just correct it a little bit and find your midpoint. There we go, fantastic. So we've got a midpoint. Now we're going to, without moving the thoracic spine, we're just gonna bring the shoulders forwards and back together. Okay, do that a couple of times. And then try and find somewhere in the middle of the two of those. Lovely. Now, it won't feel natural, that's the first thing, because we've got you in a different position to where you naturally are. The shoulder blade is a midpoint, it's not an exact science, you don't have to be exactly in this position to be right, and if you're not, you're wrong. It's in a range, so it's gotta be where you feel comfortable. Here, we've got Emma, from this point, can go down slightly, and back to the middle. She can go up, and back to the middle. She can go forwards, and back to the middle, and she can come back, and back to the middle. So as long as you can move to the extremities of the movement, you're in a good neutral to start with. As I said, it will feel unusual because you're having to, one, think about it a lot more than normal, two, you're having to work muscles that you haven't worked before to hold your shoulder here. So this in itself is a really good starting point. And what I want you to get to is a point where you feel comfortable not having to think about it, holding this position, and also that you can do it walking down the street and, and, and it starts to feel natural as you do it. It will probably take about two or three weeks for it to start to change. Then, as a retraining exercise to help challenge this a little bit further, we're going to start just doing nice simple shoulder movements. We're going to go 0 to 90 straight forward, so just flexing the arm, excellent work, there we go. And you can watch in front of a mirror and make sure that this tip doesn't move and then come back down and make sure the tip doesn't move. That's it, and again. And it's concentrating hard and that's exactly what should be happening here. So we're having to just think about what's going on. We're retraining the muscles, but we're retraining the brain to know where the muscles are and how they work. And then come back down. And I would do that for two minutes to help retrain that positioning. We'll do what last one. And then to change the challenge and change the angle, we're gonna come out in, in the scapular plane, so not directly out to the side, slightly in front of the body, keeping that nice and still. Don't let that tip rise, there we go. And you can see the shoulder blade is staying nice and glued onto the rib cage here. The tip is staying nice and still. I can tell you, you can't see, but Emma is concentrating super hard. This is actually hard work for her. So you will find it difficult if you need to do this work. And again, two minutes, but you can change between the, the different ones on different days. Okay, so shoulder setting and some simple movement, keeping your shoulder nice and still, not to 90. Fantastic way to start to correct some of your shoulder position uh, and avoid potentially related shoulder issues.